Before I get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you that have liked, commented, shared and watched my videos. It really means the world to me um, and I've grown quite a lot in 2020 and would love to keep growing in 2021. So I hope you all stick with me um, and just know that it's really, really appreciated. So thank you very much. Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a good uh, festive period and happy new year. Since it is the new year, I thought I would start with something a little bit different this year. Um, so basically for Christmas, my wonderful girlfriend bought me this um, lovely hand lettered um, notebook, which is um, made by the hand lettering studio. You find her on Instagram. I think that's at the same handle. I think it's at the hand lettering studio dot london i think that's her handle i will link it in the description below um but she bought me this lovely hand lettered um notebook and i thought this is the perfect time to maybe start a bit of um, a bullet journal slash art journal um specifically to do with my art um so i thought we will explore doing that really i've never really done a bullet journal i've always really liked the look of them um and also an art journal where i can incorporate a little bit of art the paper is a little bit on the thin side so i would imagine any artwork we do do we might have to do on a piece of paper and then kind of stick it in but it's somewhere where i want to incorporate the bullet journal style where i create master lists and um kind of plan what videos i need for youtube what posts i need for instagram um, things for my website etc etc and I thought this was the perfect time to start since I've, I've been gifting this beautiful book um, so that's basically what this video is all about um, and let's have a look what I can come up with <music> So as you saw, I have completed a few pages for January. Um, I actually filmed an outro for this and then on one of my pages I noticed I'd written February instead of January so I'm refilmed but I've actually completed um, two more pages since um, the end of my filming period. So um, there are a few more in here and I will keep adding to this um, before the next um, month um, when I need to so I might have some um, to-do lists etc things like that anyway let's get into it so the first page started off with 2021 um, because obviously we're starting this new year and this is the Chinese symbol for the um, year of the ox which is um, which Chinese new year it will be this year so I just thought that was something simple to start off with and then we started off with um, just something I wanted to write, which was starting January with resolutions and revelations. Um, and I've actually gone through Pinterest quite a lot and found a lot of inspiration. Um, so if you go on there, you will probably see something similar to this, um, which I actually really liked. And I thought I'm going to keep it simple for the first month, see how the paper holds to different inks, etc. Um, so that's what this um, was more of a test off for this month. Um, and then I actually drew just a little stick figure climbing up the mountain, almost like you're reaching a goal at the end um, which I thought was quite fitting for the beginning of the year um, and then I wanted to have a habit tracker in here start off start off with and the amount of lines does not fit the 31 days of January so I've actually paired up the um, weekends into one line which is fine because of the weekend especially during this lockdown stuff and I think the UK going back into another lockdown um, I don't tend to do much at the weekends anymore other than maybe my artwork and YouTube and things like that so I don't actually move that much so I think I'm going to combine those um, and maybe try and get out more that's why I wanted to do this habit tracker was to kind of track these things that I've got up here so we've got um, fitness so how many times I've gone to the gym or done some sort of exercise how many cups of water I've had how many cups of coffee I've had the amount of hours of sleep I've had, um, amount of steps, 
and then I'm going to weigh myself once a week so I'm going to scribble out the days I'm not weighing myself and I think I might weigh myself every Monday so that I can um, track my weight because I'm hoping to lose weight this year like many other people at the start of the year and um, then I've got a mood tracker which I have a key down here for all the different colours so that will be a colourful um, tracker and then I've got my time of the month just to see when it is um, the amount of fruit I eat and then how many days I go without spending money because I tend to buy little things here and then I'm going to try not to do that this year um, and save a little bit of money and um, so that's just to track that then the next page is a monthly spread this is where I actually put February but as you can tell I did a great job patching that up you can't even see it <laughs> um, and I've just done the month here so the Saturday and Sunday is separating onto this page um, and I've followed through with this kind of grey theme that we've got here um, for the title uh, day numbers um, and then I've got some goals and resolutions so I've got the usual ones you can stop pause that and read them if you want um, and I did want to leave this blank here just in case I wanted to add more to it but I think I'll just do goals every month um, and add more to it every month if I find new resolutions and goals um, then this is the stuff that I didn't film so I just did a website to do it again it's very plain because it's kind of I want to go through the bullet journal route but I also want to do a bit of an art journal etc so but it's also to do with Lucy Locke's business sort of thing so I wanted things that I'm going to, going to use very often so I'm actually going to add some tabs on here um, to kind of so I can come back to these pages in the future whenever I need to but I am launching a website so I've got a lot of things to do on that um, and a lot of things to list and take photos of and things so I thought I need to write all that down and have it all in one place um, so that's what that is, very simple, nothing spectacular. Maybe I'll get a bit more adventurous as we go on. And then the next one that I didn't film is food for thought. Like I mentioned, I'm going to lose weight this year, so I wanted a lot of meals under 500 calories, so I'm um, or around 500 calories. I started writing this one out and realised it was 720 calories in total. Um, but yes, this I'm going to add more recipes on here for things, just a tracker, and I can use it in the future again. Um, so I will probably make some little tags out of paper or something just to add on to these, and um, so I know what's going on. Um, so that's all I've done so far. Like I said, I am going to do more um, each month, and then I'm thinking if you all like this type of video, I could do one of these a month, um, doing like the next spread for the following month. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts. Um, and we will see what we come up with so um this paper is on the thinner side it has allowed things to come through um this is obviously been covered up where i've patched it up but you can see behind it where i've written so in terms of doing things a bit more artistic in here i think i'm gonna have to stick with like pencil crayons maybe or just do something on another piece of paper and stick that in so like i said the next month might be a bit more adventurous but we will have a play and see what we can get on with that um and it'll also be a bit more arty eventually i think but um i think i've made a good start on this and i hope you've enjoyed watching this video please give me a thumbs up if you like this and comment below if you have any suggestions on what page spreads i could do what things i could track um and maybe some themes. So um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.